With the new atmosphere of online school, we understand the frustration and confusion from students, parents, and teachers alike. This channel is meant to be a resource for teachers and families to expose students to literature and a way for Whitman to give back to Walla Walla even if the students cannot be there in person. Please join us and fall in love with reading for the first time or all over again. Hi, I'm Francesca Rossi. I'm a first year at Whitman and I loved this book growing up and I'm really hoping you all enjoy it too. So this is Bats at the Library by Brian Lies. Bats at the Library. Another inky evenings here. The air is cool and calm and clear. We feasted, fluttered, swooped and soared, and yet we're still a little bored. All this sameness leaves us blue and makes us ache for something new. Then word spreads quickly from afar. A window has been left ajar. Can it be true? Oh, can it be? Yes, that night at the library. The sky is lively as we race, together toward our favorite place. Eager wings beat autumn air. Look, that's it. We're almost there. Then squeeze together, wing to wing, we rocket through the opening. We've waited for this night all year, but this is it. At last, we're here. For most old bats, this isn't new. They've got lots of things to do. They'll flutter off and lose themselves among the books lined up on the shelves. Other bats in munchy moods will study guides to fancy foods or hang up by a lamp instead and talk about the books they've read. But little bats will have to learn the reason that we must return. The ones who haven't come before have no idea what's in store. Some of them will drift away and figure out a game to play, like shaping shadows on the wall or wingtip tag around the hall. This big box is loads of fun, blasting brighter than the sun. Instead of, is, instead of copying books from shelves, we can duplicate ourselves. Doesn't matter where you look, there's nothing like a pop-up book. The fountain water's nice and cool and makes a splendid swimming pool. Please keep it down, you must behave. This library is not your cave. It's hard to settle down and read when life flits by at dizzy speed, but story time is just the thing to rest a play exhausted wing. And if we listen, we will hear some distant voices drawing near. Louder, louder, louder still, they coax and pull us in until everyone, old bat or pup, has been completely swallowed up and lives inside a book instead of simply hearing something read. Breathless, lost within the tale, no one sees the sky grow pale. What is that light? A lamp? The moon? Our bookish feast can't end so soon. It feels as though we've just begun, but now we leave our books half done. But through the window, into sky, it's much too late. We've got to fly. But maybe a librarian will give us bats this chance again and leave a window open wide to let us share the world inside. For now, we'll dream of things we've read, a universe inside each head. Every evening, one and all, We'll listen for that late night call. Can it be true? Well, can it be? Yes, that night at the library. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed.